my name is Patty. I'm a foster with Rough Start Rescue, and this is one of my puppies. Her name is Hallie. So we are here today on Give to the Max Day with a teaser for the puppy party that's coming later. So let me turn the camera around and you can see our seven wonders. Okay. So there's Hallie. We named them after the seven wonders of the world because there are seven. These puppies were with their mom at, on the reservation in South Dakota. And <laughs> they were discovered because the family moved away and the new tenants heard the babies crying. And so the rescue partner of Rough Start, Lichine Canine, was called and they were um, uh, rescued, surrendered to the rescue. So they're about six weeks old. Ooh, ooh, big brawl happening. <laughs> That's what happens when you're six weeks old. There's a, a lot of learning of barking and growling and getting along. So the black and tan is the smallest of the litter and her name is Babylon. Hey, Babs. Oh. oh, it didn't like that I did that. Okay. And this is Olympia. She's always been the biggest of the litter. Ooh. Ooh, what's that phone? Here's Artemis. He's a little close. I'm not very good at this, sorry. So they were about two weeks old when we took them in. They're our third litter of puppies that we've fostered for Rough Start. And puppies are a ton of work, but they are so much fun. Alex, oh, this is Alex. Okay, I'll, they all want to come over to the phone. There, there's Alex. There's Alex. Alexandria. You can look up your seven wonders. Olympia found dirt. Dirt is fun. Let's see, Giza. Oh, there's Giza. So with these and the mom, we will have fostered uh, 20, 22 puppies and dogs for Rough Start. And we've been fosters for a year. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let me get a new, a new fun thing. See if they like this. Hey guys. Oh, what do you think? See if they like this. I don't know, what is it? Oh, hack. Ooh, very exciting. Or maybe just having room to run is very exciting. The black one with the caramel brindled legs on top <laughs> is Rhodes. We have two boys and five girls, and they're not ready for adoption yet because they're only six weeks. But they've been microchipped, they've had their boosters, and they're getting there. They're eating dry food. They don't really nurse anymore. It's just kind of a drive-by if mom goes in there. And we left mom inside because she's very distracting. Ooh, there you go, Giza. What do you find? Ooh. What do you think? What do you think, Alex? There you go. Good girl. Get it. Let's see. Who, uh, who haven't we introduced yet? Did you meet them all? 
Oh, there's Olympia again, digging in the leaves. And this is Artemis. Hey, Artie. He has super cool markings. But here, can you see? Nope, that's too hard. Okay, busy, busy, have to get going. So thanks for tuning in and supporting Rough Start. The work is amazing. It's astounding. The number of fosters that they have, the number of animals that they save. So proud to be part of it. So... <laughs> These logs are new in Richmond, so they haven't had anything like that before. Take a little bit of mastering, a little bit of practice. Where's everybody? Ooh, over in the corner. Puppy pile. We like those. So the neat thing about being a foster for Rough Start is that they, excuse me, they provide everything. So they provide all the food, all the pee pads, all the toys, all the bedding, um, not to mention 24 seven support, medical, medical help and attention. Um, so really when you're a foster, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, there, he's running so fast. I can't keep up. Um, which is really the great thing because <laughs> that would just be one more thing to worry about, but it's really great. You can go to the supply office and just get whatever you need. So that's been really cool. And because it's a foster based rescue, all of these animals are in actual homes, living with families, and maybe even other dogs and cats, which is amazing for the socializing. So, you know, it's not like the Humane Society where you just go and you pick one out because it's there, but with the foster base, it's an application process. And because we know, we know the animal, we can have an opinion about the best home for them to go to. And I think that's really important for everyone's success. So um, if you're thinking about getting a puppy, uh, just remember that there are a lot of work, but if you're thinking about getting a puppy, uh, it's kind of neat to foster because you never have to have to take an animal. So every foster we've had is because we saw a picture and said we'd, we would foster. So if you're looking for a puppy, the foster to adopt program is kind of a really neat way to see what puppies or dogs or cats are available. And then you can foster them and make the decision to adopt. Well, it's kind of high. Is that high Giza? Good job. Ooh, big voice. Hi, Babs. Hi, good girl. Oh, that's Rhodes. He always has something to say. Oof. Oh, tough guy. So it's really great for them to be outside. We haven't brought them out too much when it was cold and they were littler. But now that they're six weeks, this is a great area for them to stretch their legs and eat sticks and <laughs> and play.
they love to play. And they're so super soft. <laughs> and so the time commitment with puppies uh, these guys were two weeks old when they arrived. They were just starting to open their eyes. And so we'll keep them all the way through, <laughs> all the way through um, their spay and neuter. So um, eight, 10 weeks um, to make sure everybody's successful. You know, and it's interesting too, because we kind of thought that having adult dogs would be hard to adopt out, but really they're, they're not. I mean, there are people who are interested in having the adult dogs too. And, you know, some of them need to stay longer to learn things. And, um, maybe that's more fun than having them in the tub, huh? And, uh, so we've met some really great dogs. We did actually foster fail. She, um, we fostered her and really just, she fit in with our family and decided she needed to stay here. So that was cool. And I think there's a lot of <laughs> rough start fosters that happens too. Ooh. Ooh, hey, Hallie. Hallie. Oh, hi. Good girl. What do you see, Olympia? Oh, well, I just really thought the balls would be more successful. I guess the tub is just a thing, huh? Oh, is that more fun? go see how would you get anything done just watching puppies all day Kind of entertain themselves. It's funny. And it's really interesting too how their personalities start to come out and who's who's the dominant one and who's the noisy one and who's the lap cuddler. Running. Running's good. Squeaking behind the tree. Uh, we do have a fenced in yard for our fosters, but I found this chain link fence um, on uh, Facebook Marketplace so that I could have a smaller confined area for the puppies away from the bigger dogs. Rawr. Hi, Giza. Where's everybody going? Artie. Artie. Oh, there he goes. So tonight the puppies will be at the Rough Start office. I don't know what kind of an area they'll have, but I'm sure it'll be full of fun things to play with. Oh. What's all the talking about, Giza? Hmm? So we hope you'll you'll check in and see what's happening at the office. Okay. So we really appreciate having you check in on the puppies 
and the kitties if you saw them earlier that's always super cool and thank you for supporting the important work of rough start Rawr. all right so thank you so much Oh, one last look at Alex. Hi, Alex. Good girl. Oh, and Babs. Thanks, everybody.